countries you can't visit. North Korea is one of the hardest countries to get inside. They do offer some very limited visas. But if you've said anything bad about North Korea online, then you're not allowed in. I guess that rules me out. Syria is a very hard country to get inside. Because they have almost no allies, it's very hard to get to. Surprisingly, you can get a visa through the North Korean embassy in Syria. But most people get there by first going to Turkey and then going on foot. Sudan is very hard to get into. They're incredibly strict with visas. That's why most people go to Egypt and then go to Sudan on foot. The Central African Republic is very hard to get into. Visas are almost always denied. But you can fly to a neighboring country and then walk in on foot. This is the saddest country in the world. Here is why. People in this country only live to the age of 54 on average. The average person only makes $460 a year. 14% of the country is unemployed, and there is no political stability, no civil rights, no health care, and a bad climate. The country is South Sudan located in East Africa, and in some areas the people even lack basic things. Food, water, sanitary products, all things we take for granted these people don't have. To make things worse, there's even militias in this country, meaning it's not safe for anyone. It's very sad how hard life is in South Sudan, but there are people who volunteer every day to make this country a little bit better. And with their help, hopefully one day South Sudan won't be so sad. Places you will never visit. Iron Mountain is found in Pennsylvania. It's guarded by armed security 24-7. And to get inside, you need to go down 22 stories below the earth. Inside are some of the most valuable things on the planet. Many big companies have their data centers here. The original negatives of many famous photos are kept here too. And the original recordings of artists like Elvis, Frank Sinatra, and Michael Jackson. Gold Base is a heavily guarded compound in California. It's a massive 700 acres, and it's the headquarters of the Church of Scientology. For badly behaved members of the church, there's a prison on site called The Hole. Over 100 staff members try to escape every year, but many are hunted down and caught. This is thanks to cameras, motion detectors, and even snipers. It's said the compound is worth one to 1.5 billion dollars. Crazy ways people have sneaked things into countries. A gang was caught using a fake ambulance to travel transport things into the UK. They would load up the ambulance with illegal substances. They would then drive it from the Netherlands into the UK. They did this many times and even had a fake patient. Here he is walking with crutches. But a few minutes later, he's seen walking fine. The gang brought 1.6 billion pounds of substances into the UK, and it took years for them to finally get caught. These two men hid inside mattresses to try and get into France. The mattresses were on a car roof. The car then drove from Morocco to France. But law enforcement opened up these mattresses, and inside found these men trying to sneak into France. In 2018, people set up a ramp over the US-Mexico border. They tried to drive a Jeep over the fence from Mexico into the USA, but the Jeep got stuck on the fence. Places where it's illegal to die. In Saperons, France, it's illegal to die. That's because there's no room left in the cemeteries. So in 2008, the mayor passed a law making it illegal to die here. On the Norwegian island of Svalbard, it's illegal to die. People who are very sick have to be moved to mainland Norway to pass away. That's because Svalbard has permafrost, meaning any bodies will never decompose. The town of Salia in Italy made it illegal to die. There is a total ban on getting sick or dying. So that's why the residents of this town always exercise and eat healthy. The law was passed because the town's very small. If too many people pass away, the town will simply cease to exist. Deadly places you can't go to. This is Vozrozdenya Island. It's found between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. The Soviet Union made biological weapons on this island. But today, all of the lab equipment is leaking. All over the island, anthrax, smallpox, and plague can be found. This is the Danakil Depression. It is found in Ethiopia. 
right in between three tectonic plates. Earthquakes here are very common. There's also craters and poisonous gas all over the place. And to make things even more scary, two volcanoes. This is Runit Island found in the Marshall Islands. You may wonder why there's a massive concrete dome on this island. Well, inside the concrete dome is radioactive debris. The US military tested many nukes on this island. And instead of cleaning up, they simply put all of the debris into this dome. But now the dome has cracked and is leaking nuclear waste. Places no human has ever been to. This is Singi di Bihamara National Park in Madagascar. It's an island off the coast of Southern Africa. The island is filled with very sharp rocks, making it impossible to travel or walk on. Humans have never set foot in this national park. This is the Sakha Republic in Russia. It's a massive area, but no one lives there. The temperature is minus 46 degrees Fahrenheit. The extreme cold and freezing weather means this place has been untouched by humans. These are the Star Mountains of Papua New Guinea. It is the wettest place in the entire world. The rain is so torrential, humans can't even go here. In 1959, a man named Jan Sneep tried to photograph this place from a helicopter. But because of the insane rainfall, his helicopter ended up crashing. Banned places you're not allowed to go to. North Brother Island Island is found in New York, USA. It used to be used as a place to keep people with bad diseases. That way they would stay on the island and not spread diseases to anyone else. Today the hospital on the island is abandoned, and it's illegal for anyone to go on it. Dulce Base is found in New Mexico, USA. It's a top secret military base. It's a big laboratory which is all underground. Only military generals and scientists are allowed in. And many say it's even more secretive than Area 51. Nihau Island is a top secret US military island. Only 160 people live here, and it's illegal for the general public to enter this island. Many believe secret experiments happen on the island, but there's no way we can be sure. Issei Grand Shrine is a temple in Japan. Only members of the Japanese royal family are allowed to go inside. Everyone else is forbidden to enter. Never do these things in other countries. Never finish all of your food in Japan. This is seen as very rude. By finishing all your food, you're basically saying the cook didn't give you enough. Also, never tip in Japan. This is seen as being rude rather than polite. In China, never call elders by their first name. This is seen as very disrespectful. In the USA, don't get out of your car if a policeman stops you. In most countries, this would be fine, but not in the USA. Police feel very scared and think you might harm them. In Bangladesh, don't point with your finger. This is seen as very rude. In Turkey, never use the OK hand sign. That's because in Turkey, people use this hand sign as an insult. In Russia, don't smile at strangers. If you do this, they might think you're making fun of them. And in Ethiopia, never give anyone an expensive gift. This is considered rude as it seems like you're expecting something in return. This is how North Korea's mafia make money in your country. Located in North Korea, there is an office named Bureau 39. It is a government office, but it's top secret. The main purpose of the building is to print fake money. North Korea often tricks African countries with fake currency, and this makes Kim Jong-un and his family billions every year. North Korea is also known to do hacking out of Bureau 39. A few years ago, there was a ransomware virus that was released to the world. It shut down many businesses and even hospitals in the UK. Experts say that the virus came from North Korea's Bureau 39 and this made them millions of dollars. Bureau 39 also made millions of dollars from insurance scams. The insurance companies paid out, and Kim Jong-un got rich. 